Hello everyone, today we are going to get our hands on the brand new Trance 27.5 2021 model. It is replacing the Trance 3. We'll get uh, more into that in a little bit. All right, so I do apologize if I look a little tired. Um, that is because I am. I installed something last night that I am very, very excited for. It's air conditioning in my truck. It has been really freaking hot out here lately. So I will put a timestamp if you don't want to listen to my ramblings and my updates. Um, you can just jump to the shop by going there. If you like this content and want to see the rest of Giants lineup, please just hit like and subscribe. I do have some videos that I'm going to be putting out in between everything because I don't have an itinerary of when we're getting these bikes in. Now if you missed the stance video that I did last, I'm going to need to fill you guys in on some things. Due to the current state of the world, there are a lot of vendors that are just completely out of product. I think Giant has done a wonderful job of prioritizing, uh, this is what I perceive anyway, they have prioritized getting the local bike shops bicycles uh, to sell because that's what we do that's how we uh, pay the employees that's how we keep our doors open that and repairs since giant is prioritizing that it means that they sh have been shipping bikes to us and we've been getting them before we have even seen what the colors look like on the bike like normally in a normal year giant will do this like lineup reveal for all the bike shops we can see all these bikes, we'll do some preseason order, but we already have like a spec sheet. It could be under like a you know, non-disclosure agreement, can't tell anybody about it, yada yada. But right now it's literally like, hey guys, uh, this trance is available. On their website when we click order, all it literally says is replaces my 2020 trance 3. Uh, and that's it, and it gives a description, like uh, the colors like black on black or something. That's all it tells us whenever we order these things. So it's quite literally sight unseen. So these uh, first impressions unboxing videos that I'm going to be doing on this current lineup are about as first impressions as they get, but we have been extremely busy uh, as a bike shop. I am, I'm happy to say I'm very thankful for that. And uh, because of that, because this bicycle is so popular, I unboxed it on a day that we were open and employed um, some of the people there to help me unbox it because even while unboxing it we had people coming up wanting to look at it. If this thing was a large or an extra large, uh, it would have been sold. Let's just get to the shop. I am rambling. I don't want to keep you guys any longer than I have to. Let's check the spike out. It's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck, man. Redo, redo. <laughs> it's good on Giant for packing and correcting. <laughs> don't, don't break the brand new trains. Hey, they put rock shots on this thing. There she is. 
All right, so let's go through this thing really quickly before someone decides to buy it and then I can't finish the video. I will recap really quickly that uh, when we order this bike, there's no spec sheet. Um, Giant's website essentially just says that this bike is the replacement for the Trance 27 and a half three. They don't even have on there a Trance 2 anymore. Take everything I say with a little bit of a grain of salt. This is just my assumption. I would think that if they were gonna come out with a Trance 2, that they would just have this as a trance three but they don't so i'm thinking that this might be the only aluminum 27 and a half that they do for this coming up 2021 year that is a very real possibility but this thing got some nice upgrades right out of the box the paint is not bad i don't like it as much as i like that blue on the stance but every time giant does a black on black colorway like this it explodes and everyone loves it and it is the most popular colorway there is honestly i think that's more or less because it is a safe colorway. If you want to spruce this thing up, you can always get a different saddle, grips, pedals, and kind of add a little color to it, but you're never going to get tired, I guess, of black on black. It's, uh, it's very traditional. Let's go through the componentry real fast. It does come with the brand new Dior 125 or 12 speed as it's more appropriately named. So I really like the new Dior 12 speed, especially for, for this bike. This bike retails at 2150. No one would have fallen to Giant, in my opinion, if they would have kept the specs relatively the same, changed the paint job a little bit. The frame is still the same as the 2020, nothing's really changed there, but the components got an upgrade, in my opinion. 12 speed Dior, it is a micro spline wheel, which is pretty cool. You do have an upgrade in the brake department, kinda, that's yet to be seen. I do think it is an upgrade because I, th I think last year's Trance 27F3, the base model, the one that this is replacing had Shimano brakes on it, but they were dual piston brakes and they were base model brakes, like maybe M335s or something like that. These are Tektro brakes. Now, I've never really had a problem out of Tektro brakes, but they're not Shimano's. The trade-off is they are four piston brakes, which is super nice. They feel awesome. And I'm curious the longevity of these brakes. I've never like had Tektro four piston brakes for an extended period of time where I can attest to how great they are, but they feel very good. And on a bike like this that is designed to be more of a trail bike, I think that is, is awesome. I mean, they're not Shimano's, but they're definitely not SRAM's and they are four piston, which is a, a big upgrade in my opinion, especially for this price point. The next big upgrade for this bike, last year this bike came with SR Suntour on it. That is gone. So now they put on an entry level RockShox fork, but it is a 35, which is appropriate for this bike. And it is The fork looks unbranded to me. I can't see anywhere on it where it states what kind of fork it is. I'm gonna have to look that up for you guys, but it is a 35 at the very least. It's probably gonna be on par with something like the, the, the Judy or the Recon, except for that it is a 35, which is awesome in my opinion for this bike. So you've got your dropper post. That's been standard on the Trance for a while now. Um, it does come with the same saddle that the Stance has on it. That is the Romero. So the rear shock is pretty awesome as well because it is the Fox Performance Evolve rear shock. I do find it kind of odd to put rock shocks on the front, Fox on the rear, but to each his own. I like this setup better than what last year's Trance came with, the Trance 3. Um, and this bike does have more travel than the 29er. You do have your Praxis crank, like I said in the previous video with Stance. I kind of think Giant has bought Praxis. They used to be a pretty high-end expensive brand, um, if I recall correctly. I've never actually owned a Praxis product, but they have came on Giants now for the past couple years and I've never had a problem out of them. They look great. So tubeless wheels, tubeless tires, comes with the stands. All you have to do is squirt it in there and you're good to go. And it is coming with high rollers. Now that we have ran through the spec list, uh, what is my first impressions of this bike? I am very pleased with it, honestly. I lean more towards the 29er side of things, but I, I race cross country. That is my passion when it comes to mountain biking. So, and that's why I lean more towards a 29er. This is a 27 and a half. I've actually raced 27.5 for cross country for a couple seasons. Um, I am not against 27.5 whatsoever, but I'm really curious what the 29er version of this is gonna come with as 
as well, being that last year I think they were pretty comparable to each other. It was just wheel size was the biggest difference. They are strictly calling it the Trance 27 and a half, and that's it. It's the only one available in an aluminum 27 and a half Trance. Then it goes to the advanced model, which is a carbon bike. Uh, this is definitely just a first impressions getting it out to you guys. This was a bike that a lot of people were asking about, this one and the 29 version, which as soon as we get one of those in, I will do it as well. But uh, I don't think I'll be able to test ride it because yesterday when it got built, I swear there was already five or six people clamoring over it. It was just not the correct size or it would have been sold yesterday. This is a medium. Take that into consideration when we're weighing this thing as well. It actually feels maybe a little bit heavier than the, um, the stance, and I got the stance wrong. I said the stance was probably like 28, 29 pounds, I guess, and I was like a pound off. This one feels a little bit heavier than that guy. I wouldn't fault it for being over 30 pounds because it's got a 35 on the front. It's like 140, 150 mil travel, dropper seat post, beefy, beefy tires. I'm gonna guess 31 pounds. I think that's a good, I think that's a good guess. All right, guys, that is all that I have for you today. I will be back next week as these things roll in. I will push them out to you. And uh, yeah, I've got a few other videos that's gonna take up the space in between all the new products that's coming out because I don't even have a docket for when I can tell you guys when stuff's coming out. But I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe and having a little bit of fun during this pandemic. Uh, get out and ride. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.